Perhaps nowhere in the country do black voters have more sway than in Georgia. Making up more than a third of the eligible voters here, black Georgians are heavily courted by candidates from both parties. A spectrum of voters in Georgia. You've got a population, you've got 30% of the population of African American voters. So I think it's a microcosm of black America. Because I do think that you have, you have a vibrant uh, middle class in the state of Georgia. You actually have a large working class and low wealth workers here in the state of Georgia. I think every constituency within the black community you have here in Georgia. Latasha Brown is the CEO and founder of Black voters matter. She spent this election cycle crisscrossing 13 states to drive voter turnout. I think turnout is the name of the game and you don't know who's going to come out until it's time to come out. 2.2 million people cast their ballots in Georgia during early voting. 6% higher than the turnout for early voting in the 2020 election. We've, we've seen that we've actually broken records. Black voters bring diverging values to the voting booth. Within the black community, there is diversity in thought. There is diversity in politics. You know, some black voters are uh, can be pretty conservative on values. They can be, you know, Christians and pretty religious. And so they might not align with the more progressive wing of the party on issues like abortion, gay rights even, um, some of the family issues that tend to come up in the Democratic Party. Tia Mitchell has been the congressional correspondent for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution for the last five years. Working Georgia's election cycle, she has seen firsthand what matters most to black voters. The concerns that black people have about the economy, prices at the pump, prices at the uh, grocery store, um, their ability to make a living wage and afford housing is real. And it's the same concerns that people in general have. Criminal justice reform is a major issue. That what we're hearing over and over again, that what we're seeing, we're seeing this growth in prisons. Another social issue on the minds of black voters, abortion. Are you for abortion or are you against abortion? That's the question. Come on, I'm against he's against abortion. <laughs> abortion is murder. And he's not alone. I am 100% pro-life. I am a pro-life individual. If, it was, if it's up to me individually, I individually believe in no exceptions. But according to a recent Gallup poll, 46% of black voters in the United States believe abortion is becoming more morally acceptable. But reproductive rights aren't the only health concern on the ballot. When you look at small businesses, you think health care and the lack of access to health care does not uh, affect small businesses or businesses in our community. The fact that we are closing a seventh hospital, we just closed a seventh hospital, that access to affordable health care does not impact the business, that we don't think that literally all of those other elements, like let's say, yeah, you shut down with COVID, but yeah, at the height of COVID, 80% of all hospitalizations were African Americans. For Latasha Brown, whether her party wins or loses, there's still work to be done. Whether it's the Democrats that win or the Republicans that win, our goal is to make sure that our agenda gets 